Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another video for you guys today. Right now, I'm in the car with the guy. That's fucking my sister. How you doing, bro? Hey, what's going on? Is it, actually his name is Alex. If you guys want to know that, I just call him the guy that's fucking my sister because he's the guy that's fucking my sister. But uh, guys, right now, me and Alex are heading down to Pasadena, California, for to the Ice House for a comedy show tonight. Uh, there's a very special guest uh, that's that's going to be performing. He's on he's on tour right now. Uh, it's called uh, Ron Jeremy's XL Comedy Tour. And if you guys can't tell who's going to be there by the name of that the name of the show, they're crazy. Like like, like like I said there a couple minutes ago, you're the guy that's fucking my sister, and you're about to meet the guy that's fucked everyone. Oh well, that's that's always nice. Well, he didn't fuck me or anything like that. Uh, well, at least I, or at least I don't think he did. But guys, we're gonna be—we're on the freeway right now, and we're heading on down to the ice house. So let's see what we get tonight. Okay, everyone, we finally made it on over to the ice house. I know that light's kind of bright, bro. The world famous ice house is right across the street. A lot of uh, famous uh, comedians performed here. A lot of uh, you know comedy specials were performed here. So you down? I'm down. Let's do it. I've That's... never been here before. Yeah. I didn't even know Ron Jeremy was a stand-up comedian. So... I know he's been do he's been doing that for a cu couple of years now, to be honest. And like I said, guys, a lot of famous uh, comedians perform here on a regular basis, like Norm Macdonald, Adam Carolla, uh, David D Dana Carvey, Paul Rodriguez. Uh, you know Jeff Garcia. A lot of like really known people. Tom Green uh, still performs here. All right, Alex, man. We just got done watching the comedy show. What did you think, man? It was pretty funny. Yeah. Did you ever think you'd ever be in the same room with Ron Jeremy? No. No. But I, I kind of, I kind of expected the, the, the content of his jokes. Yeah, like the, yeah, the big jokes and the yeah. porn, porn jokes and things. But it's, it's kind of cool coming out with you, hanging out, and yeah. coming to a comedy show and things. But right now, I'm going to see if I can talk to them on camera. Ron Jeremy, at least. Okay, Alex, man. Are you ready to meet a couple of legends? Let's do it. All right, man. Right over here, we got the legend Dante, the comic, and the legend Ron Jeremy. Me, Look like a rapper. Look like a rapper. Oh, me. there you go. So how long, how long have you guys been friends? How long are you? Nine, nine three quarter inches. Oh, really? <laughs> how long? Yeah, we both are nine and three quarters inches. Yeah, yeah. No, but... Two inches from the floor. <laughs> By the way, we've known each other about 25 years. I think we met in 91 with, through Sam Kinison. Yeah. And, and for the people that are watching this, uh, I made a movie, I was in a movie that Dante made called Bro What Happened. And uh, that, that's how I know Dante. And you'll be in a movie with him called yeah, Nuclear uh, Zombies from, Nuclear Area, Zombies 51. from Area 51. Which so, we'll film this summer. Um, I had a question for you. So I watched a, a documentary about you called The Legend of Ron Jeremy. Is it really true that at one time you were able to kiss your own penis? Yes. And if so, like, is, could you even do it now? Don't do it now because it's Only if Dante kisses it first. <laughs> There's also, there's also something about Ron that you may not know is that you got your master's in special education. Right, and there are two bachelors, theater and education, all from Queens College. Yeah, that, oh, that, that's. We just got education, he leaves. Dante just left, but I had a. Dante got past kindergarten. But thank you so much, Ron, for taking the time out to talk to me, my man. Always been a big fan of yours, and uh, thank you so much, man. So, Alex, dude. You just met Ron Jeremy for the first time. Yeah, that's pretty you, you, got, you got a photo with him and everything. Did you, I know I said this already, but did you ever think that you would ever meet the guy? No. I know he's, I know he's, a, he's a porn legend and things, and I got like a, a quick little interview. Thank you for holding the camera, by the way. But uh, this is kind of cool, but there's also another special guest that's up over here that a lot of you movie nerds would just geek out, o geek out over like I, like I am right now, to be honest. Sean Wise is here. If you guys don't know that name, man, he's Goldberg. From the Mighty Ducks movies, he's the Goldie man. He's and he's also Josh from uh, you know the Heavyweights movie. Like those are like my childhood favorite movies right there, dude. You know, especially Heavyweights because I grew up being the big guy, you know. <laughs> but uh, he's over there talking to Ron, Jeremy, and Dante. So give me a second and see if I can uh, ask him a couple questions. But hey, guys, I'm with the legend right here, a guy that I grew up watching as a kid, Sean Wise. You guys know him from the Mighty Ducks, I'm Heavyweights. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Man, you lost a lot of weight since then. Cause I remember seeing you a long time ago at the Fallbrook Mall, just like walking by at the time when, or around the same time the movie was made. And I totally like geeked out. I'm like, oh my god! You're like, stay cool, my man. Right. I'm like, chill out. I'm, you know. Yeah, yeah. It was just one of those things. But like now I'm actually talking to you on on video. It's just like I'm meeting all my 
You know, my childhood heroes growing up now. That this must be amazing for you right now. Well, you know, I know, I know you're just a guy, and we're just a guy, you know, we're just people, but like, it's just well, kind of... First you started, you said I was a legend, now you I'm are. just a guy. We, no, but you know what I mean, it's just kind I of... I don't know what you mean. First I'm a legend, then I'm just a guy. I, mean, I want you to pick one and decide on it, so I know what well, kind of to, 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 to me, to me, growing up, being a fat guy, you're a legend. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I always looked up to you and my friend Michael Ray Bauer, which I know you guys are friends with, too. Yeah, man, donkey lips. Yeah, oh, man. Boy. Like, you know, people like that, I always, I watched and grew up watching, and, uh... People, people out there that are watching this now, what have you been up to? Uh, you know, been up to this and that. Right now we're making a show called Why Not Weiss. Mm -hmm. Stars Ron Jeremy, he's my dad. Stars Kurt Fox. So uh, that's, what, that's what I've been spending my time doing. How, how was it, you know, growing up, being in, in films, you know, like, you know, being a child actor in Hollywood? I didn't really realize how awesome things were because I just, that was all I knew. Because making the Mighty Ducks movies, Heavyweights, it was really an awesome experience. And, uh, you know, got to, got to do a lot of stuff that not a lot of, you know. Yeah, this is cool not thing. a lot of people can do, yeah. Right, so now that I'm, you know, now I'm 36, I look back and I'm like, that was awesome. And you should have, you know, not that, I didn't, well, not that I didn't appreciate it, but I didn't realize how amazing that was. Yeah, and how uh, people were, like, still watching these movies till this day. Like, they're, yeah. they're big cult things. You know what I find is uh, those movies, uh, people watched them when they were younger and, like, things were all... Uh, good and happy and they had no bills to pay and no problems and no, you know, baby mama calling yeah, yeah. and suing them. So when they see me, kind of, uh, the memories of the movie remind them of, like, happy time. Yeah. That's the same thing with me. Like, when I saw you walk into the comedy club, I'm like, he's here, he's here. You're like, a little, like, the little geek inside of me, I was just like, you know, but do you, do you get that a lot when people come up to you on the street and stuff? A lot of, you know, I look a lot different. Yeah. So I don't really get the same kind of recognition that I used to. I mean, I used to... Know. Walk down the street and everyone was like, Robert! Right. Yeah, when those movies came out, you know, there was no internet. You know, there was no, uh, it was just like, uh, they were, yeah. You were more famous then than you, you could really ever be today with that kind of, that yeah. kind of movie. So, you know, I mean, but, you know, uh, I've, I've stayed in the game, I've been in comedy this whole time, I've been doing stand up, <laughs> and now this thing, Why Not Weiss, is kind of the, the culmination of like all my years of experience and my, you know, when, my years of writing. You, have you been in stand-up since you were a kid, or did you just like all of a sudden start doing it like a handful of years? I started ago? when I was like 21, and then I just—I don't know—I I really liked it. But you know, a lot of the, a lot of comics that are really successful, they have this you know inherent need to like get up on stage yeah, all the time. Yeah. yeah, and I just never had that. You just do it like sporadically, and things? kind of. You know. Yeah. I mean, I love doing it. Um, I just—I I probably what are, I lack. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, motivation. Mm. And uh, what drive. Like, yeah, like those two things. And I know what you mean. But do you have anything to say out there to the people that watched you growing up and Dude, that yeah, love your a stuff? Absolutely. Thank you guys for all your love and your support throughout the years. I'm glad uh, the Mighty Ducks made an impact. And is there, uh, there going to be a Blu-ray? Do you know if there's uh, any like? I have no idea. I mean, there's a heavyweights Blu-ray. No, I know, know yeah, because they got you on special sure. features and things. Yeah, we, we I was wondering features. if there was like you know if you record any special features for like, a supposed Blu-ray of the Mighty Ducks. Have not. not. Come on, Disney, put it out. Where's the box set? Where's the box set? Yeah, Blu-ray box set. We need it now. Are you kidding me? Like, you can't make money off a Mighty Ducks box set? I would buy it. Stocking stuffer. He'll buy it. You sold at least one. Hell yeah. But thank you so it. much, Sean. Dude, thank you're you the so man. much. I wish nice. You the man. I wish you nothing but the best, bro. Dude, I, I believe you when you say that, and I appreciate it. And uh, it was nice meeting you on Facebook and stuff. And we yeah, dude. friendship, and then I met you here tonight. So. Thank you, sir. All right. You take it easy, bro. Right, right. Wow. Should I go this Goldberg, way? Goldberg, baby. Or? Uh, I'll go Flat. this way, you go that way. Okay, fine. Okay. Uh, can I get a cheeseburger on your tab? Is that going to be okay? Well, Alex, the guy holding the camera, yeah. he can do that. Alex. He, he's the baller. The cheeseburger? Yeah. Well done. I'll take fries or fruit, whichever one. Okay, cool. Tells you Fruit, not fries. Okay. You don't want to go back to the old ways. I feel like I have a long, I feel like I have a long way to go. Okay. I'll put on 10 pounds. Yeah, me too. All right. All right.